how Saudi and Kuwait is so rich. For many years, the wealthiest Arab countries have been able to entice a significant number of tourists from all over the world. People have a fascination with mental pictures that feature buildings made of gold, excellent meals, and all the finer things in life. When discussing the Arab area, the first thing that comes to most people's minds is how Saudi Arabia and Kuwait have amassed such enormous amounts of wealth. Keep an eye out for the video that will be uploaded today. We will answer all of your questions in this video. But before that, you must ensure that you have a subscription to Money Tree. Therefore, without more preamble, let's get into it. First things first, let's find out why Kuwait is one of the wealthiest nations on the entire planet and how it got to be so affluent in the first place. It's not dollars, euros, yen, or even Chinese yuan. It's denominated in dinar. One of the reasons that the nation of Kuwait is considered to be one of the wealthiest countries in the world is due in part to the fact that its currency is the most expensive. You will have 3.29 US dollars for every one dinar in your possession. Imagine having a monthly income that is higher than that. This nation demonstrates that one does not have to be the most populous to be considered the wealthiest. Did you know that Kuwait is one of the wealthiest countries in the Gulf region, although it is a relatively tiny country with a population of only over a million people? The riches of Kuwait originated from the petroleum-based industries that were established here. Additionally, among the countries that make up the GCC, it is the leader in the banking industry. Those of you who are still seeking a place where you can get a job might want to give Kuwait some thought as a potential destination for your employment. This nation's capacity for constant innovation can be attributed to the strong performance of both its state and its private sector. A little portion of the GCC is home to a handful of residents. This results in a larger capital income per person because fewer people are living there. As a result of this, Kuwait has become the second most prosperous nation in the Middle East. When you are in Kuwait, you will observe a lot of people driving around in fancy automobiles. It's almost like a contest to see which vehicle has the most impressive acceleration, and even if you don't have one of your own, you can still be a fan of a certain model or brand. Kuwait has more than sufficient petrol reserves, which account for more than half of the country's GDP, as well as 90% of the government's income and 94% of revenues from exports. Because of the many different diversification plans that have been implemented, petroleum now accounts for 43% of the overall GDP and 70% of the earnings from exports. The production of steel is Kuwait's second most important economic sector. Kuwait is self-sufficient in steel. It is not unusual to find a household living in Kuwait to have a number of domestic helpers, including maids, drivers, cleaners, and gardeners. This is one piece of evidence suggesting that the households in question belong to wealthy individuals who hire outside help in exchange for a fair wage. Would you be interested in working or living in Kuwait now that you're aware of some of the factors that contribute to the country's high standard of living? This is a small country with a lot of wealth, so there are bound to be numerous possibilities waiting for you here. Let's have a look at Saudi Arabia now, shall we? The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was formally established in 1932, and in the roughly nine decades that have passed since that time, the country has developed into one of the most prosperous countries in the world. Even though Saudi Arabia has made achievements in other areas of economic activity, such as agricultural output, this is virtually exclusively due to the country's large oil and natural gas reserves. However, the country has also made progress in other areas of economic activity. A closer look at the Saudi economy reveals a more nuanced image of the kingdom. Although it has the reputation of being a global economic powerhouse because of the massive quantities of natural resources it possesses. The majority of Saudi Arabia's natural resource wealth is derived from its oil reserves, which account for around 20% of the world's total known oil reserves. Saudi Arabia is located in the Middle East. In addition, significant stockpiles of copper, silver, phosphate, and a variety of other resources can be found in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabian oil firm Saudi Aramco is thought to be the most lucrative company in the world after achieving reported profits of more than $111 billion in 2018. The astounding net income of the state-owned oil business was greater than that of Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet when those three companies were combined. An initial public offering IPO for Saudi Aramco appears to have been put on hold 
after the corporation received bids totaling $100 billion during its bond offering. Saudi Aramco has been considering going public for many years. It wasn't until 1938 that oil was discovered in Saudi Arabia. Although the country sits in what is now thought to be the second largest oil reserve in the world, in that year prospectors working for Standard Oil in California ultimately made a discovery that led to the discovery of a reserve. Up until 1980, when the Saudi royal family assumed control of operations, the corporation would be in charge of managing Saudi manufacturing. At the present day, the production of oil accounts for more than 90% of the country's wealth. When compared to the GDP of other countries, Saudi Arabia is the 18th largest in the world. However, when compared to the annual gross domestic product of U.S. states, the Saudi economy is smaller than the state of Pennsylvania in terms of overall annual dollars. This is the case even though Saudi Arabia is one of the world's largest economies. Comparatively, Pennsylvania had a GDP of $752 billion in 2017, whereas the kingdom's GDP was approximately $683 billion. In terms of the state's overall gross domestic product, Pennsylvania is ranked sixth. Even though it is commonly believed that Saudi Arabia is the wealthiest nation in the Middle East, the country ranks fourth in terms of its per capita wealth. After Qatar, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates, in comparison, the annual average per capita income in Saudi Arabia is only $54,100, whereas it is $129,700 in Qatar. Only Oman spends more on its military than its annual GDP than the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is in second place, moreover 10% of Saudi Arabia's yearly budget for approximately $69 billion is allocated to military spending each year. According to the World Bank, although the United States spends over $610 billion on its military each year, this represents only 3.1% of the country's total gross domestic product. The entire dollar value of the kingdom's exports in 2017 was approximately $231.3 billion, placing it at position number 22 on the list of countries with the highest total export values. It was rated slightly above Thailand, which had $228.2 billion worth of exports that year, and just below India, which produced $299.3 billion worth of exports that year. The Al Marai Dairy Farm in Saudi Arabia is the largest in terms of the volume of milk that it produces. There are approximately 95,000 milking cows that are housed there, and the dairy produces close to 1 billion liters of milk daily. In 2017, the average salary of a single American citizen was calculated to be $59,160 according to the data compiled by the World Bank. In the same year, the per capita income in Saudi Arabia was $20,090, which was 2.9 times less than the rate in the US. There are approximately 75 billion barrels of oil in the Gawar oil field in Saudi Arabia. This quantity of oil is sufficient to fill more than 4,770,890 Olympic swimming pools. As a point of reference, when filled to the maximum allowed levels, these pools have a capacity of 660,253 gallons. There are around 6 million foreign nationals working in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The majority of those working in the country are employed in the oil and gas industries. This indicates that on any one day, more than 15% of the people residing in Saudi Arabia are citizens of a country other than Saudi Arabia. Even though people from other countries are flooding into Saudi Arabia to work in the country's oil and gas fields and refineries, the country's nationals are struggling to find work. Despite the country's enormous financial reserves, the unemployment rate reached 12.9% in 2018, and around 2 million Saudis were without jobs at that time. Friends, which country do you prefer to visit, Saudi or Kuwait? Please let us know in its space provided below. On that note, we must adjourn. Please subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more incredible content like it in the future.